Greetings, my cosmic explorers. I am May Tobol, your guide to the mysteries of the universe. Welcome back to my blog, where science meets attitude and wonder knows no bounds. Today, you'll discover how gravity isn't a force, but a geometric illusion, how particles can be in two places at once, and why black holes might hold the key to unlocking the ultimate theory of everything. To help us break it all down, I brought along the brilliant Brian. So grab your coffee, fasten your seat belts, and get ready for some serious celestial wisdom. Brian, the floor is yours. Thanks, May. I'll do my best to guide us through this thought-provoking topic. Let's explore the dreamscape together. Imagine a place where time stretches like taffy, where space folds in on itself like origami and where the laws of physics dance to their own rhythm. This is not some fantastical realm from a science fiction novel. It's the universe we live in, a vast cosmic tapestry woven from threads of mystery, wonder and mind-bending concepts. Welcome to the story of space, that elusive entity we often take for granted but rarely understand. To truly grasp what space is, we must first abandon our preconceived notions. Space isn't just an empty void waiting to be filled with stars and planets. It's not even just three dimensions, length, width and height. No, space is something far more profound. It's part of a larger four-dimensional construct known as space-time, a continuum where the very fabric of reality is stitched together by gravity motion and the relentless march of time. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start at the beginning, or at least as close to it as we can get. In 1905, Albert Einstein published a paper that would forever change how we see the universe. Special relativity introduced us to the idea that space and time are not separate entities, but intertwined in a single continuum. Think of it as a cosmic waltz where every object dances through both space and time simultaneously. What does this mean? Imagine you're going to meet a friend for coffee. You say, I'll meet you tomorrow at 10. But wait, you also need to specify where. Without both a spatial coordinate, like latitude and longitude, and a temporal one, the time, your meeting might end up with you floating helplessly in the vacuum of space or accidentally attending a coffee date in ancient Mesopotamia. This interplay between space and time is fundamental. In relativity, they are not independent. They influence each other. Time dilates, space contracts, and nothing, not even light, can escape the rules of this grand ballet. The speed of light becomes the universal metronome, setting the tempo for all motion and measurement. Einstein later expanded this idea into general relativity, where space-time becomes dynamic, bending and warping under the weight of mass and energy. Space is no longer static. It breathes, curves and ripples like a pond disturbed by a stone. So what is gravity? If you answered that thing that makes apples fall, you're only scratching the surface. Gravity is not just a force pulling objects together. It is the curvature of space-time itself. Imagine a rubber sheet stretched tight. Place a heavy ball in the center and the sheet sags. Now roll a smaller ball nearby. It rolls toward the heavier one, not because of a mysterious invisible tug, but because the sheet's shape has changed. That's gravity in a nutshell. Mass tells space-time how to curve and space-time tells mass how to move. It's elegant, poetic and utterly counterintuitive. Gravity is not a pull, it's a geometry lesson written across the cosmos. And nowhere is this lesson more dramatic than in the enigmatic phenomena known as black holes. Black holes are the ultimate cosmic paradox, regions so dense that not even light can escape their gravitational clutches. They are born when massive stars collapse under their own weight, compressing matter into an infinitely small point called a singularity. Surrounding this singularity is the event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing returns. Cross it and you become part of the black hole story lost to the outside universe forever. But here's the kicker. Black holes aren't just cosmic vacuums. They challenge our understanding of physics. At their heart lies a conflict between two pillars of modern science, general relativity and quantum mechanics. One describes gravity beautifully on large scales, while the other governs the chaotic world of particles and probabilities. Yet inside a black hole, these two theories come to blows, revealing gaps in our knowledge. 
Some say black holes are the key to unlocking a theory of everything, a unified framework that explains all forces and particles in nature. Until then, they remain tantalizingly mysterious, like cosmic vaults guarding secrets we haven't yet deciphered. If space is a stage, then architecture is the set design. As humans look to expand beyond Earth, we face a new frontier, building structures that can survive in the harsh environment of space. Space architecture combines engineering, biology and creativity to design habitats that protect astronauts from radiation, microgravity and the psychological effects of isolation. From inflatable modules on the moon to rotating torus-shaped cities orbiting Mars, the future of human habitation may lie in designs that defy earthly logic. Imagine a house that generates its own gravity through rotation, or a greenhouse that uses hydroponics to grow food in zero-g. These are not pipe dreams, they're active areas of research. Space architecture is about more than survival, it's about thriving in the cosmos, creating homes among the stars. Now let's zoom in, way in, to the subatomic realm, where particles behave more like ghosts than solid objects. Here, quantum mechanics reigns supreme, governing the behavior of electrons, photons and quarks. Quantum theory tells us that particles can exist in multiple states at once, a phenomenon known as superposition. They can also become entangled, sharing properties instantaneously over vast distances, a connection Einstein famously called spooky action at a distance. These principles underpin technologies like quantum computing and cryptography, promising revolutionary advances in the decades to come. But they also raise deep philosophical questions. What is reality if particles don't have definite properties until we observe them? Is the universe deterministic or fundamentally probabilistic? Quantum mechanics doesn't just explain the behavior of tiny particles. It challenges our very perception of existence. One of the most famous quantum paradoxes is Schrodinger's cat, a thought experiment where a cat in a box is both alive and dead until observed. This illustrates the strange nature of superposition and the role of observation in collapsing quantum states. Another paradox arises from the double-slit experiment, where particles behave like waves when unobserved but act like particles when measured. This suggests that the act of observation influences reality itself, blurring the line between observer and observed. Even more bizarre is the concept of quantum tunneling, where particles pass through barriers that classically should be impenetrable. It's as if a ball rolled up a hill simply vanished and reappeared on the other side without ever reaching the top. These paradoxes remind us that the universe operates on rules that often defy common sense. They invite us to question our assumptions and embrace the weirdness at the heart of reality. So what remains to be discovered? Plenty. We still don't know what dark matter is, despite its gravitational influence shaping galaxies. We're missing a complete theory of quantum gravity that unifies general relativity and quantum mechanics. And we have yet to fully understand the nature of time itself, why it flows forward and whether it had a beginning. Future missions may reveal habitable exoplanets, alien life or even wormholes, hypothetical shortcuts through space-time. Advances in artificial intelligence and machine learning could accelerate scientific discovery, helping us decode the mysteries of the cosmos faster than ever before. Perhaps one day we'll manipulate space-time itself bending it to our will like a cosmic sculptor, or maybe we'll uncover evidence of a multiverse, a collection of universes beyond our own, each with its own laws and possibilities. Whatever lies ahead, one thing is certain. The universe is full of surprises, and our journey is only just beginning. In the end, space is more than just a backdrop for celestial events. It is a living, breathing entity, dynamic, mysterious, and deeply connected to time, matter, and energy. It bends, twists, and hums with the music of the cosmos, a symphony composed by the laws of physics. As we peer deeper into the universe, we are not just exploring space, we are exploring ourselves. Every discovery brings us closer to understanding our place in the grand scheme of things. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember, you're not just seeing stars. You're witnessing the unfolding of space-time itself, a story billions of years in the making, and one that we're only beginning to write. And who knows, maybe someday you'll be the one to add a new chapter.
And there you have it, my galactic pals. The stars may nudge us with mystery, but it's up to us to listen and to dream even bigger. If you loved this episode, show us some love with a like, hit subscribe for more interstellar insights, and drop a comment telling us what resonated most with you. Until next time, stay bold, stay bright, and keep reaching for the stars.